Adding products from your supplier to AutoDS is easy. Let's go over the process and see all of the options that we have. So the first thing you need to do is click Add Products. Here you can choose which store you want to publish it to. So if I click on the pencil icon over here, I can choose which and how many stores I want to publish these products to. Next, you can choose two methods to upload your products. The first method is by pasting the product's URL or the product ID and separating each product with a line. Let's see an example of how that works. So let's just go to AliExpress and say I want to take this cute baby monkey shirt over here. All I have to do is copy the URL or the product ID, paste it over here. And if I want to upload more products, all I have to do is make a line break. And then let's just go back to AliExpress and just take any other item. Let's say these roses over here. Click on these flowers. Say I want this one. Click on the URL. Copy it. And paste it over here. And I can continue on and on with more line breaks to add more products. Another way to upload products to AutoDS easily is by clicking the import to AutoDS button that you'll have next to each product title. In order to see these links, you'll have to have the AutoDS Chrome extension installed. In order to install it, just use the link in the comments below this video or type on Google AutoDS Helper Chrome extension and you'll be taken to this page. Add it to your Chrome. Once you do so, just refresh the page and you'll see this option available and the AutoDS Chrome extension down here. So once you click on import to AutoDS, the product will automatically import to your draft section. So you'll be able to work on it. And once you're done working on it, simply import it and it'll be monitored in your product section on AutoDS. So that's another way to import products to AutoDS by using the Chrome extension and this link next to each product title. The second way to add products to your store is by using the upload CSV option. Now there are a few ways to obtain a CSV file. The first one is if you worked with another software and you exported a CSV file from there and you want to import it over here, this is the way to do it. A second way to obtain a CSV file is if you know how to create them yourself, you can learn how to do that using our help center with the link below in the comment section. The third way to obtain a CSV file is by using the AutoDS helper extension. Using the AutoDS Helper can help you extract full product pages from your supplier into a CSV file into which you can drag and drop right here and upload all of the products at once. Let's see an example of how that works. So let's head over to Amazon and say we want to search for, since we have Christmas coming up, let's check out Christmas inflatables. I can go inside the category if I want to refine my search and make it even more precise, but from what I can see here, there's already a great list of inflatables which you can add to your store already. So all we have to do is click on the AutoDS circle on the bottom right, this is the extension. Click on the extract button over here. And then all of the product IDs on this page, which you can see here when I scroll down, they're all shown here in the extension. A total of 65 products were grabbed. Now all I have to do is click export as CSV. And the CSV file was created and downloaded onto my computer. All I need to do next is head to where the file was downloaded, drag and drop it to the add products window over here when I'm uploading as a CSV. And as you can see, the file was uploaded successfully. So that's how you can import a CSV file using the helper or using any other CSV file that you may have. Whether you chose to upload a CSV file or use the by URL or ID option, either way, once you click next, you'll have the same options to import the products and finish the upload process. So the next options that you see here is the supplier source. So here you have to choose who your supplier is, whether Amazon, AliExpress, Banggood, and so forth. As you can see, there's already a very nice list of suppliers. We're always working hard on adding more. Here you can choose which region the supplier belongs to. And in the advanced options, you can choose if you want to allow duplicates, if you want to have the same item more than once, if you're accidentally uploading the same items. You can choose whether you want to upload variations, for example, Let's get into this product over here in AliExpress. So here's all the variation options. If you choose to upload variations, it will grab all of the variations and not just the selected product. And the last option you have in advanced options is if you want to upload Vero products. 
The Vero feature is here to protect you from accidentally uploading trademarked or copyrighted items, which you are not allowed to resell unless you have a reseller's agreement. Most dropshippers don't have reseller agreements, so leave this unchecked unless you know what you are doing. So that's the allow Vero option, the last option that we have in the advanced options. So once you're done choosing your upload method, click on next. And now you can choose if you want to go with the supplier's default settings, which you have in your settings, or choose whichever template that you want. Enter or add a new tag. So let's say I'm uploading toys right now and I don't see toys as an option. We're going to create a new tag called toys. Enter whichever collection it belongs to if you're uploading to a Shopify store. Enter a price range if you want to upload only products, for example, that cost no less than $10 and no more than $150. And here you can choose the automation process if you want AutoDS to monitor the product's prices, the product stock, or for automatically fulfilling your orders. And then click on next and we'll move to the pricing section. Now if we uncheck the box to use the supplier's default settings, which we have in the settings options, you'll be able to change each setting. So for example, I can change my break even to 15%, my additional profit in fixed price. Let's say I want to make $2 extra profit on each order and another 20% profit. So my break even is 15% and on each order, I want to make 20% profit and another $2. I can also choose if I want to go for dynamic profit and choose a different profit setting for each price range. So for example, for each product range that costs from $0 to $50, I want to make $3 profit with another 30%. Now I can add another rule and say from each product that costs from $50 to $150, I want to make 25% profit, but with an extra $5 fixed profit. Okay, now I can keep adding rules or I can remove them. When I start to remove, it removes the last one and keeps going up. So that's the dynamic profit. Now let's click next and move on to the shipping and policies. Once again, we're not going to go with the supplier's default settings because we want to see what options we have. So you have the shipping methods, which can be fastest with tracking, cheapest with tracking, or overall cheapest. The product's country, where the items are coming from, and the product city. If you don't know, just leave it as it is, but you have to know the country. You don't have to know the city. Click on next. Now you can choose if you want to add the products that we uploaded as drafts and then it will move to the draft section. There you can fully edit the items details and the title and pictures and variants and so forth. Or you can choose if you want to publish them straight to your three stores that we chose in the beginning of the upload process. Click on next. Product is being added to the selling platform. And that's all there is to it. It'll just take a few seconds. All of the products that we uploaded will show up. And that's all you have to do to add products to AutoDS. If you have any questions, please let me know below and I will personally answer each and every one of them. We have a live chat support ready to help you with anything that you may need. And please subscribe to this video so you can learn more about the dropshipping world and more about the AutoDS monitor.